Hello and welcome to this SQL tutorial with me, James, from Mathstore Software. Today we're looking at concatenating strings that contain null values. Um, and we've got three different methods to explore. So first of all, what we want to do is actually query the sample data that I've got. We've got a first name, middle name and last name column in our users table. But you'll see um, there were no constraints set where middle names had to be populated. And this could be quite a common occurrence. Um, so we're going to look at how we concatenate these and get around some of the, the issues that we may commonly experience. So first of all, we can use the addition operator. This is perhaps the most simple usage and, and, and this has been around for a long time. So if we just wanted the first name and last name, we just need to concatenate these with the addition operators and a space and that will work. We get the full name. Now, the issue here arises um, where we use the middle name because we have null values present by default, the addition operator will always return null if there are null values present. And this is by default. There are ways around this if you want to continue to use the addition operator, but you can see there um, the two uh, fields that had null values in the middle name, the whole full name string will we'll ju we'll just evaluate to a null. But if we want to get around this, we can actually set, um, at the session level anyway, we can set concat underscore null underscore yields underscore null off. And what this does is it changes the behavior um, where a null value will now just uh, populate an empty string rather than forcing that null. Um, and the standard behavior, if you think of it, is that things evaluate to null because essentially a null is an unknown value. Um, and the standard behavior, I think this is ANSI compliant as well, is you would just populate null because you don't necessarily want to mix those unknown values with the rest of our populated values. But we can get around that. Now, we can use the concat function um, where we have the first name again and we just wrap um, essentially the same logic within the concat function. So we have first name and um, this time we won't use the addition operators. We'll use um, commas and those space values. And what the concat function is, it's just a concatenation. It's joining together all these arguments. However, if any argument is null, an empty varchar string is returned. So concat never returns null um, and doesn't ignore null arguments. So this will just evaluate um, to the first name and last name rather than um, forcing a null because the middle name isn't present. And this same um, logic is present in concat underscore ws, this system function, which is just um, concat with separator. So it gets a bit tedious having to specify the separator if it's consistent, like a space. So we can just, our first argument is that separator, which is just a space. Then we can have first name, middle name, last name. This is also going to replace any null values with an empty varchar one string. Um, so when we evaluate this now, we get the same result, but it's a lot less tedious to type out. We're not relying on those um, having to manually populate those spaces. It's worth noting the separator doesn't have to be a space. It could even be single or multiple characters. As usual, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thank you.